Hi, welcome to another video. So, Klein just got some new updates, and I wanted to talk about them. Now, what are these updates? Well, after the last video I did, there have been a few updates, and some of them are actually quite cool. The main update is version 3.5, and it adds a bunch of new features. First, there's this new option called Enable Extended Thinking for Claude. 3.7 Sonnet. This is really interesting because it allows you to set different budgets for plan and act modes. So, if you want the AI to spend more time thinking in plan mode, but be more efficient in act mode, you can now do that, which is quite good to see. I mostly like to keep my plan mode at around 32k tokens and my edit mode without any thinking and this yields the best results for me. Next, they've added support for rich MCP responses with automatic image previews, website thumbnails, and Wolfram Alpha visualizations. If you remember from my last video, I talked about the MCP marketplace, and now they've made it even better by allowing these rich responses. So, if an MCP tool returns an image or a website, Klein will automatically show you a preview of it right in the chat interface, which is great to see. The Wolfram Alpha visualizations are especially cool because they can help you understand complex mathematical or scientific concepts visually, which is obviously kind of cool. They've also added a language preference option in the advanced settings. This is pretty straightforward. You can now tell Klein which language you prefer it to use when responding to you, which is quite useful if you're working in a language other than English. Another big addition is XAI provider integration with support for all Grok models. So now you can use Grok models directly in Klein if you prefer those over Claude or GPT. They also fixed an issue with Linux XDG pointing to an incorrect path for the documents folder. This is a small fix, but important for Linux users. In the smaller updates, it added support for the GPT 4.5 preview model, which is OpenAI's latest model. So, if you have access to that, you can now use it in Klein, which is pretty good. The other version added a toggle to let users opt in to anonymous telemetry and error reporting. This is actually quite important because it helps the Klein team understand how people are using the extension and what issues they're running into, while still respecting privacy since it's opt-in and anonymous. And finally, version 3, 4.6 added support for Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is the new model by Anthropic, and for which they have now also added the extended thinking feature in 3.5.0. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is Anthropic's latest model, and it's quite powerful, so it's great to see Klein supporting it right away. Let's test some of these features out and see how they work in action. Now, first of all, you'll need to go ahead and get Klein upgraded to the latest version accordingly. Now just open it up, and first, let's check out the extended thinking option for Claude 3.7 Sonnet. If we go to the settings over here, then we can just select the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model here, and then you'll see this new option here. You can enable it here, and then set budget accordingly. The budget you set here will be set for the option you have selected here, whether it be Act or Plan. If you want to set one of them specifically, then just select it here first, and then go to Settings, and set it accordingly. So. This is really useful, because sometimes you want the AI to spend more time thinking about the architecture in plan mode, but be more efficient when actually writing code in act mode. I would recommend that you not enable extended thinking in the edit mode. Next, let's look at the rich MCP responses as well. If I use an MCP tool that returns an image or Wolfram Alpha, like this one here, you can see that Klein now automatically shows a preview of the image right in the chat. 
And if I use a tool that returns a website, it shows a thumbnail of that website. This makes the whole experience much more visual and intuitive, which is quite good to see. The Wolfram Alpha visualizations are particularly interesting. If I ask a question that requires some mathematical computation or scientific knowledge, and Klein uses the Wolfram Alpha MCP tool, it will now show me a visualization of the result right in the chat. This is super helpful for understanding complex concepts. Let's also check out the language preference option. If we go to advanced settings, we can see this new option here, where we can select our preferred language. This is quite simple, but very useful if you're working in a language other than English. So, this is quite amazing to use for sure. And finally, we also have the Grok models with the new XAI provider integration. If we go to the model selection dropdown, we can now see all the Grok models listed here. This gives you even more options for which AI model to use, which is great to see. Although, it still doesn't have a Grok 3 option because they haven't started the API for that model. So, we'll see when it comes out. I think these updates are really good, especially the extended thinking option and the rich MCP responses. The extended thinking option gives you more control over how the AI works, and the rich MCP responses make the whole experience more visual and intuitive. Klein was already great, and it's now even better to see it grow with some more features. There's also the option to opt in for anonymous reporting of bugs and similar issues, and you can either opt in or opt out based on how you want to use it. I haven't been using Klein as much because I have switched to RuCode, but this is something that is great to see because it is making things a bit simpler, unlike RuCode, which is a lot more complex these days. So, there's that. I really like these new features because these new features are really good. And if you are someone who just wants a simple interface for coding, then Klein remains the best option to use while RuCode is better for more advanced stuff. Klein was already great, and it's now even better. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.